Hello everyone, this is Matthew with Sword Slinger Custom Holsters. I uh, wanted to just hop on here uh, real quick and do a quick video. I uh, had a lot of people asking me why I haven't done more YouTube videos, and the uh, simple answer is I just haven't had enough time to uh, really focus on them. Uh, I've been real busy with orders and uh, try to get them out as quick as possible to keep our lead times down. And I uh, just haven't had enough time to do a lot of videos. But wanted to get on there real quick and uh, just do a quick video to put on YouTube. And let you know i got some uh, stuff in, in play in the future. i got a lot of exciting things going on. Uh, Orange blessed us with a lot of business and we're growing. Um, we are a small shop. Uh, it's just me and my wife. Um, we actually, this is our my newly, or in the process of renovated shop. Um, we used to... Uh, uh, have a shop in another room in our house that was about a quarter the size or smaller than this one uh, broom closet um, We had another room in our house. We made uh, this one in here. I'll post some videos and pictures of it once I get it to a presentable status um, but uh, Going to be finishing that up here real soon But uh, it's gone a long way compared to what we had um, anyway, the main purpose of this video I wanted to do is uh, I wanted to discuss uh, one of the features of all my leather holsters, and that is I line all of my leather holsters. And a lot of people don't understand what that means or why I do it, and just wanted to do a quick video on talking about why I do it. I'm probably going to do a more lengthy video with more content in it concerning this subject in the future, but this is just going to kind of hold, uh, hold a few people over until I do. Um, this is a full size uh, 1911 makers choice 5 inch um, a lot, I get a lot of questions sometimes on why I sew up the bottom of my holsters you see this line right here this stitch line well I don't sew up the bottom of my holsters in the fact that there's a it's plugged at the bottom a lot of people think I do I do not uh, because they see a picture like this and it looks like it's sewed up uh, this is the lining on the inside sewed up you see up here there's a lining sewed up in here as well um, that uh, that is what that look is. Uh, I don't plug the bottom of the holsters up. I keep them open for debris to fall through and whatnot. And if you're out on the range and you're shooting and a piece of brass or dirt or whatever falls in the bottom of your holster, you want it to be able to fall through. You don't want to reholster your weapon and have any of that debris clog your barrel. That that would cause you a problem. Um, anyway, long story short, um, that is what this is down here. Um, I line all my holsters with two three ounce uh, cowhide. Um, it is slick on the inside. It is not rough. Um, a lot of holster makers um, and people that have holsters, when they hear line, they automatically think suede lining. I do not line it with suede. Suede is a very uh, rough material. It'll catch a lot of debris. And what happens when you line a holster with suede is it picks up that debris and dust and carbon from your weapon and turns it into basically 300 grit sandpaper over a period of time. And that's gonna even uh, be worse for you to finish your weapon than an unlined holster, which is not gonna pick up near as much debris as uh, a suede. But I use two three ounce uh, vegetable tan cowhide, which is the same material that the outside of the holster is made in, except it's thinner on the inside. So thicker piece of leather, thinner piece of leather, but that equals out to be the same thickness on a holster as like an unlined holster. Um, so for example, this here is the front part of a new maker's choice I'm gonna be working on here in a little bit. I'm gonna be basket weaving it for a, a fellow, one of our repeat customers. This is the rough end of it. If you see, it's kind of a little hairy, not too bad though. Um, but over time, it'll, uh, by scratching it or whatever with your weapon, it'll get even more abrasive than that. So this is the slick part of the front. This is the liner part. Now I cut the belt loops back up here on the liner. That way it bends around your body a little bit easier and you don't have the same thickness at the front of the, in the middle of the holster as you do on the belt loops. So I cut that back there and what I do is I glue this in and I sew the bottom of the holster and I sew up around the trigger guard. Then I sew the stiffener on the front. Um, by lining a holster, the main purpose of lining a holster, or a better term would be laminating a holster, is uh, it makes it stronger. Makes a, the holster more rigid, 
and it makes a sturdy holster that is going to last probably three times as longer than an unlined holster. And that is because it is laminated, just like laminated plywood or laminated flooring. And what you end up with is you end up with a holster that is very strong, very durable, and it also helps it from collapsing when you are reholstering. Uh, now the stiffener or the reinforcement piece up here will do the same, that's its main function. Um, but by um, laminating the grains in different directions, both, both of the, the front and the liner, uh, and once you sew that all up and you uh, mold it, by mold, when you mold the features into a holster like that, especially when it's laminated, it compresses the fibers, and that's how you get that real hard holster. <clears throat> now when I say a hard holster, and when you hear me knocking on it, remember, you want it to be hard at first. Um, you do not want a floppy holster, and uh, this one here is going to form to your body, and I, I curve them when I mold them, so it's already going to be in that direction when you get it. This also helps tuck the grip in when you're concealing them, but you want that a holster to form to your body over time when you uh, you put the holster on, and the heat of your body is going to form it around your body, and it's going to be much more comfortable. Um, when people hear me say hard holster, they're thinking hard like Kydex. Yeah, it is hard like Kydex, and you want it to be. You don't want floppy leather folded into the, uh, the trigger guard or anything like that. Uh, you want it to hold the weapon and hold it where it's supposed to be. So uh, that is one of the main reasons I line my holsters. Now, the most popular reason for lining holsters is it protects the finish. It does protect the finish uh, better than a suede line holster and uh, much better than a suede line holster and then better than a uh, rough inside unlined holster. But that is not the main reason I do it. Uh, any holster will rub the finish off of a, uh, a weapon if you use it over time. Just that's a simple fact. If you use the weapon, you're going to have holster uh, wear on a weapon. Um, slick. Two, three, or slick cowhide on the inside, vegetable tan cowhide will be the best. Um, there's also some other leathers people don't use. Um, chromium, chrome tan uh, cowhide is another one that they don't recommend using, mainly because of the salts in it. Um, some of the modern techniques don't work too bad from what I understand. Uh, the main reason was is it, the corrosion, it would corrode your firearm, but I think a lot of that has changed. I don't use it. So I haven't worried about it. I did use it when I, I first started making holsters on a few of my own. Um, what I didn't like about it is it was really soft and it didn't, you didn't get that hard, hard molded uh, feeling. It didn't compress the fibers and bond the same. It was two different types of leather you were bonding together. Uh, when you use vegetable tan on the inside and vegetable tan on the outside, it, it just, it forms better uh, at a, as a holster maker and it makes a better product. Um, so anyway, that is why I do it. Um, any holster is going to have wear if you use it every day. It's just the fact of life um, when it comes to carrying a gun. Um, that is the main reason. Um, just rigidity, strength. And uh, I call it line, but it in better term be laminated. And uh, just to give you all an idea. Uh, the Like I said about it holding the mouth of the holster open uh, better, it does, just by being harder. Um, the stiffener up here does the same. Um, this is uh, kind of the holster maker. Some holster makers use it as a, a signature, trademark, or whatever. I do the same. This is the shape I do almost all my stiffeners in. Um, the main purpose of this up here is to hold the mouth of the holster open. That way, when you reholster your weapon out on the range or wherever, for one, you reholster, uh, you're hesitant with reholstering. You're not doing it real quick. Um, and you don't want to be using your support hand to reholster. You don't want to have to open your holster to reholster. You don't want to have to fish your weapon in and out. When you're in people that uh, work on a range and are in struck will know what I'm talking about. But you'll see people fish the weapon and they'll point it right at themselves and then fish their barrel down in. You don't want to do that. You want it to be wide open where you can get that weapon in and out easily. Uh, you don't want to have to to point your weapon at yourself in order to reholster. If you do, the holster is not what you need to use out there. Uh, you need it to open, be open, and easy to reholster. Uh, anyway, this is a 
full size maker's choice like I was talking about. This is my most popular design holster. Uh, I make more of these than anything. Um, full size 1911 is probably the most popular uh, model I make it for. Uh, this is bloodstain. This light doesn't really show it that well, but there's pictures of it on my website. Um, bloodstain with black stiffener. Uh, it's probably my most popular color combination too. Um, you can check these out on our website, swordslingerholsters.com. Uh, check us out on Facebook as well, Swordslinger Custom Holsters. On Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're even on MeWe. Um, and of course, we're on YouTube as well. Uh, I'm going to have more content in the future on YouTube and Facebook video-wise. Got a lot of ideas, just haven't had time to put them into play. But going to, hopefully before the end of the year... Um, I appreciate all your support. Appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, I'm my name is Matthew Dyer. Uh, I'm the guy that's going to be taking your order, making your holster. I, I do about all, me and my wife. Um, but if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, check us out at swordslingerholsters.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.